Hello everybody, and today we're going to be showing you how to make a hand in Blender. Now, right now I got it set up as a cube, and if you go up here, right next to the v, right next to the add button where you can add the cube, uh, click face select so you can select faces instead of just vertices. After that, you can, we're going to continue up by clicking G. And moving on to the <coughs> x-axis, we're going to move G up, and we're going to continue it that way, and move it back to the y-axis, and move it to the to normal. Now that's pretty much completely normal. We can now create, create the hand. We're going to do that by going down and find the loop cut and we're going to move up and we're going to create four loop cut uh, four different faces if we go into here oops sorry <clears throat> then we just go back um, four different faces we're going to select all of them and <clears throat> oh and it and D to extrude them. After that, you can now create your th your character model or your model. Now we want to create individual fingers and not like completely just these long things. So we can click on the Luca again and make a basically this here. Go into here and you could now. Um, extrude these as fingers and we're going to move these to, um, to this way. To make it look like fingers. Now, what we want to do is we want to create another loop cut so actually, so you can actually, so the hand can actually like Bend. So this is going to be where the hand starts. We're going to actually add another one right there, so we can actually create the thumb. This is going to be where the thumb. Oh, this is going to be where the thumb is right here. You can now move it up. You can now move it up and go and actually move it up. Now, <clears throat> now that we got this, we can now actually have hand mode because we got our first physical hand. To make this hand work, we need to first add a modifier to make it look a little bit better. Now, this is a warning here that I could possibly just uh, ruin your thing, but it doesn't happen right here. <coughs> As you can see, if you just want to make it leave a square, you can, but. This is just something you could possibly do. Anyways, we can now actually continue on. And, alright. Add another, we're going to add a amateur. We're going to click on this and we're going to find it. Click on the x axis. No, not the, the x axis and we're going to move this up. <coughs> and rotate it to the arm. Then we're going to click up, move it up, and scale it to <coughs> scale it to size. After that, you can now move it this way where you can actually see it. We're going to go into edit mode, and we're going to actually move it. Now we're going to move it up here to where the arm is. Now after that, we're going to create the actual finger amateur, or the hand amateur. Start off with that and create two bones for the thumb as well as create a couple bones for these fingers like I'm doing it here. This is so every finger is actually usable and movable. Sorry, it's just a little hard to see here. 
Oh yeah, hold on. I forgot about that, this feature. Haha. Now that we got that done, we can now go back into here and click on this. Now we need to make sure the item join cube are in the same one and we're out of it mode. Select the cube and answer by clicking by holding shift and clicking both of them. After that, hit control P and click with all mag weights. Now that we got that, we can now try it with going into pose mode. We can now click to this and now if we try it, we will see that all the fingers in this are movable. Even the thumb is movable. Every finger is movable in two ways. Either with this one or individual fingers. So, as you can see, the entire thing works. This rule also applies to basically any type of thing you're doing. For example, this also affects characters too. This is a character model I made. I know it's very bad, but it's a character model that I made. And this one also has a amateur. So if you click on here and click to put click on this and click um, amateur and click the pose mode. We, this also affects care. This also affects basically anything. So I hope you enjoyed. Later I'm showing you how to create character in the next in a later video. Remember to stay safe out there. <coughs> Like and subscribe, which is going to show you on a button down over here. And yeah, that's how you do. That's how you basically do this in Blender, or create anything with amateurs in Blender. <laughs>